Piddling means pee in some places and I've never considered that not once. So when I said I was piddling in my garden, I absolutely didn't mean I was peeing all over my vegetables. So let's discuss piddling in the South. I can see where the phrase, I was just piddling around, could be a little bit more off-putting, a little bit more questionable, a little bit more of a raised eyebrow if the meaning of piddling was peeing. But let's clarify that. I don't pee in my vegetable garden as a general rule. So in the South, if you say you're piddling around, it means you're not doing much. You're just piddling. I'm sure piddling meant peeing here. At some point, it's evolved into meaning not doing much or just kind of doing a lot of things, but with a lackadaisical attitude. Just piddling is really the ideal day and it doesn't have anything to do with peeing. If you're just piddling at your house, you're usually living your best life. If you've got a duster or a bathrobe, coveralls, those are piddling clothes. Piddling doesn't mean laying still. If you're just laying down, that's taken to the bed. That's a different thing altogether. Piddling is my peak self. For some people, it might be more of a down day because they're staying in the house. But if I get to piddle around all day, that's me living my very best life. Piddling is strictly want. It's not needs based. But piddling can be things like changing the hummingbird feeder, putting out your summer comforter, little tasks to enrich your life. Just piddling. And it's good for your mental health as well. For some reason, we've all got to thinking that we should be going, going, working, working, when really we all need a day to just piddle around a little bit. Piddling can involve like a golf cart. If you're outside piddling, you can piddle around in the yard or piddle around in the neighborhood, piddle around in your mom's backyard. And piddling goes with one more P word and that's pondering. If you're piddling, you're probably also pondering. You're clearing your head out, making that list, getting those things worked out pondering on the possibilities. So you see, piddling and pondering are both effective means of self-care. You can piddle enough to where your life is in complete order. And if you've pondered enough, your piddling will be a little bit more effective. They go together. So I encourage you all to have a day of piddling, but use our definition for this particular activity. And then tell me what your ideal day of piddling around the house looks like.